So the USA Today is doing a survey. It wants to know the best zoo in the nation. Well, obviously, if you ask us San Diegans, we're going to say our zoo is pretty fantastic, right? So we're in the running. We're actually in the top 10. So we posted this picture or this uh, story on our Facebook page. I'm going to show you how you can vote. So you click on it here. Then it takes you to our website. Very obvious. It says vote here. By the way, you can vote once a day. So once you get to see it then, so here, check the leaderboard. And then again, that will tell you where we stand in relation to all of these other zoos in the country. And this site, by the way, in the USA Today also shows some really great activities for your family. You can do the best aquarium, the best safari park, museums, botanical gardens, Andrew's favorite, the best beer bar. Uh, this goes all the way until the end of this month, and we'll check back, by the way, at the end of the month to let you know where we stand. But we encourage you to vote. Again, you can find all the information on the Fox 5 Facebook page. Right, Andrew, the best beer bar. Yes. Right? The best. Fox 5 News at 5. A local congressman the ground could not hold on to a giant tree as it fell across a roadway in Rancho Bernardo. It's blocking two traffic lanes. It also damaged an electrical box, knocking out power to thousands. It also pushed Lake Poway's water level close to its spillover point. Yes, yeah, so the city workers keeping a close eye on that lake to make sure it doesn't. Fox at Berkeley has a research center that focuses on California roads. Certainly we need the focus, right? Tom Vicar shows us the facility and the technology race car that apparently doesn't require a real life driver. They are it's here on the Fox 5 News at 1. The San Diego Unified School District is eliminating 850 jobs. That decision came down last night. This morning we spoke to the superintendent Cindy Martin what she had to say about that $124 million budget cut. But first here's a look at some of the top stories making headlines today. The private information if you've recently visited Coachella's website. Hackers get UCSD collected breast milk from folks who do their grocery shopping online could be loading up on unwanted pounds. A dietitian in Australia found nutritional information can be harder to find online, which then could lead to more unhealthy choices. The researchers also say it's harder to compare brands over the internet. This idea backs up previous research out of the UK that found that people were urged to walk into the store in a bid to burn more calories or just don't drink as much the night before. Today, the County of San Diego launched an HIV awareness program designed to reduce infections and promote a pill that could prevent people from getting the in San Diego are going to be shaving their heads this weekend. I am not one of them, nor are you. No, nor is Heather Lake, but she did get to shave some heads downtown today and she explains why they're doing two for because he shave his head, making a nice donation and yeah. also be able to uh, donate Listen, the so I think if deal. we get enough Fox 5 viewers that we should send Jason Hanman down there for his that head to be good. shaved. I can really feel for those people there. Yes, indeed. It's incredible to see that uh, image. Let's get over to meteorologist. Aloha Taylor who's tracking that weather. Still the impact from Monday's storm. Yeah, let's get it over to meteorologist Aloha Taylor who's tracking our weather today as well. Not the coin there from Canada. No, that's that not good. quite as old. Not quite as old. <laughs> All right, let's get it over to meteorologist Aloha Taylor. Uh, thank you very much. And that does it for the Fox 5 News at 5. Here's Kathleen Bade with what's coming up at 6.